How you doing? This is Sean from Sean's Fish Tanks, and uh, I wanted to touch base with you guys on a quick update. I haven't done so in a, in a bit. It's probably been over a month. Um, I've made several changes to the to the system, a few purchases. Um, one was the uh, Auto Aqua Smart AWC Touch, and it is a system that can change your water automatically, um, which has made my life a thousand times easier um, there's been some bad reviews on it as far as the pumps and um, so I tried to incorporate it to where my um, pumps would only pump a short amount of distance so this is my reservoir which is just a Rubbermaid brew container um, it's a 40 gallon so I mix up roughly about 30 gallons of water 35 gallons of water and that can last probably for about two weeks and I have it change water every 13 hours so almost twice a day um, and it probably changes about a gallon and a half close to a gallon and a half to somewhere in between a gallon and a gallon and a half um, every time it changes so I change about two somewhere between two and three gallons a day and then it also doses um, down here you can see that's my that's my bucket for my my um, RDI water and I have calc in there and then I also have up top I have um, a JBO dosing pump and up top you can probably see it has the um, the, the dosing containers I just dose um, calcium and alkalinity um, I got away from no pox I also purchased this ice cap battery backup system up here um, and I plugged that into my JBO um, CP25 for right now um, in case of a power outage I can still have some kind of flow I want to get a DC main pump um, so that I can switch that to my main pump um, but for right now it is what it is <clears throat> let me move you for a second Okay, so I wanted to touch base also. I, I moved my rock structure. I had to get rid of some rock. Um, it was just not convenient for all my zoa colonies. And, um, you know, I had some die off on some of my bird's nest in doing so because I moved the rock structure for a long period of time. But I just wanted to give you this update on the number one on the auto changer I purchased just because it's been working flawlessly the first day or so I set it up it did not want to work um, I don't know what happened I, and I really can't figure out why that happened I mounted this um, this metal bracket just for like a, a controller station and I put all this stuff in magnets actually the two controllers are for the JBOs are on magnets and I also switched those to the put those at the top of the aquarium and that is running all my flow they've been working flawlessly as long as I don't work them on use them on wave mode um, I just kind of adjust the flow every so often as far as how much power is coming out of them because I'm afraid to use the wave mode I'm afraid it's gonna ruin the unit somehow because it has bad reviews um, so the aqua is a fairly new system um, I purchased it probably going on three months now I mean three weeks now it's almost a month it's been running on my system um, and it's been it like I said in the first day I tried to set it up it didn't want to do it automatically it would do it manually so then I just reset it through its programming and set it up again and uh, it just did a water change and um, that worked pretty flawlessly um, it has been working flawlessly for about three weeks now so I just make my water in the brew container and then I have a dose um, and it's been working great uh, and it's made my life so much easier so I'm gonna keep you updated on that to make sure um, you guys get the full version of um, the fur full info on how flawlessly it works with its regular pumps I do plan to change the main um, pump that runs the my um, my top off system because I run calc and I'm afraid they have an adapter for it so that you can run an AC pump and once I change my main pump I can use my AC pump as my direct refill for my auto top off portion of the system 
And if I do that, I'm, I think it'll be better because the calc won't, doesn't seem like the calc will ruin that pump like it would these small pumps that come with the system. The brain itself seems to be the best part of it. And the, um, it's like an eye that measures how much water is in the tank and how much water to remo remove is also a great portion of the smart ATO. I had a Tunzi for years, so I'm hoping I don't have any issues with it because so far it's worked flawlessly and it makes my life 10 times easier. I come in and I do my maintenance every day, which is just feed the fish and look at my aquarium and clean the glass. Um, I did make a husbandry lift that I do once a week now, which has come out pretty good. Um, and this is my list. It's pretty much make salt water. Um, let me see if I can get a little closer to it without it shaking on you guys. Uh, make salt water, make RDI water, um, collect water from my fish tank at, in my school because I have a small system there. Change the carbon, I do a fourth cup of carbon in a filter sock once a week. Um, and then I dose a few things, one drop. I dose potassium, lugols, I dose sponge XL in the sump. I do two pumps, which is like two ml of fuel and I check my alkalinity once a week. Now, um, alkalinity is a little high. I may be dosing a little high right now, but I like to keep it that way. I definitely don't want to drop. Um, I'm using reef crystals as my salt. Now, these colors are going to be awful because it's in the blue spectrum, but I wanted to give you guys an update on the tank no matter what. So, um, this is my favorite colony of Zoas. Um, it's my green goblins. They look fantastic. Um, there's some purple monsters back there. Um, some of the zoas aren't coming out too, too well um, in this spectrum. I have some Duncans I kept alive. They're going in my tank inside the school system that I have. Um, I did make one new coral purchase. and He's not fully open right now, but that is a Bob Marley from Worldwide Corals um, Zoa. And it's right there, and it's already popping out a new head on the side. Can't make out the colors too well. I'll try to give you a better update with color. Um, some Bam Bams. There's some like Supermans right next to it. Definitely can't make out these colors. Right here, I think the Supermans are. Um, some Eagle Eyes. Over in the back there, I think I have some Fruit Loops. And all my SBS are looking really good. They're growing pretty well. Um, I'm still having some good growth out of this. I, I would say it's a tricolor, but I don't think it is. Um, I got two colonies of it. Um, my Millie's still hanging in over here on the side. Looks great. Very hairy. Sprouting out little things everywhere. Um, this green acro looks like a green planet. is doing real good on top. Um, some of my acros are really close together. My bird's nest took a hit, though. Half this one died. And on top is still alive and flourishing. And then I have some algae on some of the tips of the pieces that died on that side from just exposure to air when I restructured the tank. And then if I come around this side, um, you know, and mind you, this isn't all my corals. There's plenty of corals in here that I'm not naming, but I'm just showing you guys some of the stuff. This was that tort. You can't make it because it's all blued out. I'll do a better, better version of the colors. Um, but I wanted to keep some of my zoas alive still um, and then not have to worry about those dying. I did one of my birds that looks pretty good back here though. I got a, they're still all alive but this one looks pretty good. I moved it up top um, and like I said I wanted to keep all my zoas looking good. These are those fruit loops. They look fantastic. Some um, I don't know if these are red kens over here. I'm not big on the names. Um, and these are like a little green zoa that was like not doing so well and I didn't want to lose those. I like those a lot. But anyways, like I said, um, the system's doing fantastic. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on this smart ATO. It was, I meant to guy, tell you guys about it when I got it going, but I was having so many issues with it. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't having those same issues. Um, and then I could uh, give you a better update later on. But um, again, everything's working flawlessly. Super happy with the way I set up the system. Um, 
and I want to keep you guys updated on the automatic water changer especially just so you guys can see for yourself not too many videos about this and um, it's great because like I said this system is probably a total of maybe 60 65 gallons if you conclude the water in my glass sump um, which is in a 25 gallon um, tank but um, I'll keep you updated give you guys a little bit more info on how things go I didn't want to give you a high info too much um, too, too soon of an update because I was afraid I wouldn't have any growth and I really want to have some growth you guys can see especially with the acros and I love my acros and zoas in this system and that's what I want to concentrate on but anyways um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe um, and uh, take it easy see ya